to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video just a reminder some great news the design of experiments for 21st century engineers the mini tab version has just been released. I know for those of you unfortunate enough to have selected Minitab you have a great deal of difficulty in understanding this software so we've created this special version of this text with the Minitab screenshots. The link to lulu.com where you can buy this book is in the description below and of course you also have the option of purchasing Drink Tea and Read the Paper which is the perfect book to go with your Green Belt or Six Sigma Black Belt training. The link to lulu.com for that book is also in the description below. And of course the other thing that we'd really love you to do, please go to buymeacoffee.com and make a small donation. All of these things, the purchase of the books and the donations, they help keep the channel moving. I'm really grateful to all of those people who are currently donating. Many thanks for your support and your help. And now, let's get on with today's video. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen, and the subject of today's newsletter, well, we're gonna give some advice to green belts and black belts. So it's green belt, black belt advice and here's what I want to say to you learn why instead of learn the why instead of the how now this is a piece of advice that I give to all of my green belts and black belts and it's about learning about the power of Six Sigma because the why the why is where the money is learn why now before I go into the details here just a reminder please give the, um, the like button a tick before we go any further subscribe to the channel and of course if you want to join in with comments about any any part of this video or any other videos that I've recorded please leave me a comment and if you want me to record anything else please please ask mention the subject and I'll try and do a video for you for those of you that want to give me a downward tick on this video you're the most important people I want to hear from I want to know why you disagree with what I'm saying because it adds to the discussion and builds our understanding both for me and for you so please uh, leave some comments if you'd like to like to discuss any of the subjects that I'm bringing up so learn the why one of the problems especially when you're going to be certified as a black belt or as a green belt most of the questions that you're going to come up with and all the exams that are formally out there on the internet they're going to want you to know how so for example I don't know let's just pick a tool CPK they're gonna want you to know they're gonna want you to know how to calculate CPK or how to calculate CP um, and that, it's nice to know that but quite honestly think about it what am I gonna do I'm gonna let Minitab or SPCXL do this do I need to know how not really let's talk about why let's talk about why I do CBK see and this goes to the heart of all the statistical tools people learn statistics at university and it bores the pants off them why does it bore the pants off them because they learn how they don't learn why now let's talk about why do I want to do CBK what does CPK do here's what it does why CPK? It predicts my long term 
defect rate. It predicts my long-term defect rate, and here's the killer, with a small sample. So why do you do CBK? Well, here's why. I can take 30 data points, and what can I do? Predict the next million that are about to come off the machine. I can predict tomorrow with this thing. It is the most brilliant thing to know, CBK. By the way, it contains standard deviation. One of the things that's in there is standard deviation. Why do I want to be able to calculate standard deviation? People don't understand what it means to calculate standard deviation. What does it allow you to do? Standard deviation allows you to predict tomorrow with relatively small samples. Small amount of data, predict tomorrow. You should never switch a machine on and not be able to predict the defect rate for today, tomorrow, and the next day. Because standard deviation and CPK does that. Now, that's why you need to know this. Because that's about how to make money from CPK. Why do you do a DOE? Why do I do the DOE? Because it's the fastest way to get knowledge. In other words, it's the fastest way to make more money. That's why you do it. Now in DOE, there is an awful lot of important stuff actually, which is in the how. Um, not so much how you do the calculations, but how you physically do a DOE. It's really important to be good at that. But, you know, why do I, why do I use statistics? Because it helps me to make more money. That's why. But specifically, you've got to say, each tool, you should say, why am I using a run chart? Why do I use a histogram? Why do I use CPK? What's it for? Uh, why would I use a multivary chart? Um, so there's seven quality tools. Why would I use a flow diagram and a cause and effect diagram? Why, why, why? How, how, how really doesn't matter. You need to know why, because each time you know why, you'll know why you're pulling the tool out of the box. You'll get brilliant at using these tools really well and you will become a money-making monster because that's what green belts and black belts are. They have the technical capability to fix any technical problem. That's why they should be highly paid and highly respected. But you will only become a money-making monster as a green belt or a black belt if you learn why. Why do I do a proper sample size? Why do I do a t-test? Why do I do design of experiments? Why do I use a statistical process control chart? Why is the important thing? Because why tells you how much money each tool is going to make and what it's going to do for you in your project. What I see an awful lot of green belts and black belts doing, they've learned how to do it. But when they do a project, they don't know which tool to use because they don't know why. You've got to learn why. Take a look at each tool. By the way, too many of the ready reckoner little books, you know, Six Sigma for dummies and things like that, what do they tell you? They tell you how, they don't tell you why. Take a look at your list of tools, every single one of them, every diagram, every statistical calculation you're gonna do, and ask yourself, why am I doing this? And then you'll understand and you'll become, as a green belt or a black belt, you'll become a money-making monster. Now, if you want to know more about why, if you want to buy my book, drink tea and read the paper, you can buy a copy from lulu.com. You can buy a hard copy or you can download an electronic version from lulu.com. 
I'll leave the links uh, in the in the uh, the text below but in here I don't talk too much about how to do these tools there is some of that in here but there's very little mathematics in this book it's all about why because if you know why you'll get the right tool in the right place you'll get projects that are successful you'll make processes just perform like you wouldn't believe and then your green belts and your black belts will help you to make more money because that's what it's about always ask the question why am i doing this why do i use this tool? <laughs>